Hello everyone, this is going to be a reading for Leo to find out why their crush isn't communicating with them right now. So let's see, Leo, please tell me about Leo. Why isn't this person talking to Leo right now? Give me four cards for Leo, the situation, the obstacle, the advice and the outcome. For Leo, Leo and this person there that's not talking to them. The situation, the obstacle, the advice and the outcome. Leo, this is a situation that's going to work out in the end. Uh, the, the situation uh, right now, the current situation between you is the Eight of Pentacles. I'm under the impression that this person is very busy with work. The obstacle for you is the star, which is a, a, a card of hope. So it's not really an obstacle here, unless something else shows up and they're interested in someone else. But for what I see here, especially with your outcome, the chariot, this, this is going to move forward between the two of you eventually. You're not in contact right now, but you will be. The advice for you is the devil, which is a, a card of holding on tight. Uh, it's not really the healthiest card in the deck on the contrary it's a it's a card of someone who is holding on but with possessiveness with jealousy hey you you might have to do that uh you might have to sink your claws into this person and not let them go uh let's see let's see what uh, more can uh, can we find out about this why is the eight of pentacles here um as the situation for leo why is the Eight of Pentacles as the situation for Leo? Yeah, you need to work on this, Leo. <coughs> this is a relationship that has a lot of potential, but requires work. I don't know what that kind of work is. Uh, maybe working comes to when it comes to seeing eye to eye, getting on the same page with this person um talking about your um, desires for the future building a future together but there is love here uh, leo there certainly is why is the obstacle the star why is the obstacle the star for leo look leo this person is going to speak to you eventually this person is going to speak to you. There's hope here. There's love here. You've got two cards of love. There's passion here. Um, for the time being, the obstacle could be that this person has some hopes, has some desires from this relationship and their expectations aren't met fully. And there need to be some discussions to be had. For you to basically get on the same page and, you know, talk about the future. Talk what it is that you both want from this relationship. Let's see, why is the devil the advice for Leo? Leo, it's, it's not going to be easy to win this person. Just so you know, you have to work for it. But if you do, if you hold on tight, like I said earlier, you're going to be successful. This is the kind of person who you have to make some promises to. And uh, you have to give them hope for the future, for the future that you two could have together. Um, it could be that the person you're dealing with is very idealistic and they've, they're very set into the type of person that they want to be with and you know and uh, it's possible that you don't really meet all their expectations and that's the problem here but if you insist uh, it's going to be successful but it's not gonna be easy let's see what's the outcome why is the chariot the outcome here for leo yeah yeah, this is definitely a reading about meeting someone's expectations. You're going to have to put in some work of convincing this person that you're the right one for them. But um, on, on the romantic level, on the level of feelings, they love you, Leo. They're very interested in you. Don't, don't, uh, 
be doubtful about that. It's just that, um, you, you know, as I said, a conversation has to take place. So you both have to tell each other what it is that you want from each other. And in the outcome here with the chariot, the six of pentacles and the seven of uh, uh, um, uh, cups, this is a, basically an outcome of moving forward with your dreams, with your desires, and making concrete, solid plans about the future. Not just making plans, but also starting to put them into action. And um, yeah, that's that's the key to to um, to the success of this relationship. But as I said, it comes with the devil. Um, you're going to have to be a bit, um, let's say, not really deceptive, but more like street smart with this person. You're going to have to uh, outsmart them. You're going to have to outsmart them and convince them that they will not have a better future than they could with you. Do you understand me, Leo? <laughs> Uh, you have to do some work of convincing, might maybe even manipulation on uh, this person. And um, manipulation isn't always something bad, especially when it's done with good intentions and you have the best of intentions for the person you're dealing with at heart. Um, but you're going to have to be smart, you know. Honesty with this person is not the best policy. Don't be blunt. Don't be abrupt with them because you're going to scare them away. No, you, you should take that approach of um, maybe, you know, telling them the things that they like to hear. Uh, because if you don't, this person is not going to have their, high, uh, their hopes up when it comes to the success of this relationship. So, uh, yeah. That's what you, you have to do. You have to promise them some nice things that are going to entice them. But just so you know, they love you, as I said earlier. And they want to communicate with you. I, 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 I think that you're going to hear from this person very soon. But when you do, you have to tell them the right things, Leo. Okay, so that was the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some guidance in how to act in, uh, in this situation with the person that uh, you're dealing with. Uh, you have to be smart. You definitely have to be smart uh, when it comes to them, Leo. So I hope you enjoyed the readings and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.